Hey guys, Banwish Dudes here, and today I'm doing an update video for the um, 1.8 update for Minecraft. Um, this is the third instalment to um, my set of videos on the 1.8 update, so if you haven't watched the other two videos, um, links will be down in the description, you can go ahead and watch them. They're quite relevant to these videos, so I suggest you watch them before you watch this one. So yeah, um, I have three updates for you today, uh, one's a screenshot and there's two bits of information. This is the first one. Uh, it's um, about um, more things being added to the game. So, um, in a recent interview, um, Notch hinted at some exciting potential additions to the adventure update, including melons, pumpkins, which grow from a central stem to a maximum size, animal farms, the ability to help or harm NPC villagers as desired, and the likelihood of monster boss monsters in a randomly generated dungeons. So, um. Uh, what it's saying in this is, it's saying they're going to be adding some new farming stuff, melons and pumpkins that grow from a stem, which uh, are really cool because maybe they'll grow to a big size, because it, it says maximum size right here, so maybe that's um, something about you can grow them to quite a big size, maybe like a four block size, I don't know, I don't maybe double in size, I'm not really sure, but um, that'll be ex really exciting to see about that. And uh, animal farms, so this is uh, really cool. Uh, there's uh, maybe there's some sort of way you can spawn animals. Uh, maybe you put some sort of I don't know some sort of food on grass and you spawn pigs and you can I don't know, you can harvest not harvest them that's like wheat what am I talking about you can um you can kill them get their meat things like that um but yeah that'd be really exciting to see maybe more um maybe more mobs added to the game with that update I'm not really sure but there's, um again that's gonna be really exciting to see the ability to help or harm NPC villagers now um uh, this isn't really I think big. Um, we know about the NPC villages. If you watch my other update videos, um, you can t you can see the NPC villages in the screenshot. So um, yeah, you can um, you can hurt the people in the village. I know that sounds quite violent, but um, yeah, that's um, that's life. If you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, um, boss monsters. Now this sounds really cool. Um, we already have um, the dungeons added in the game, so um, nothing new on the dungeon side, but um. um uh, boss monsters. So um, it says randomly, so they're not going to be in every dungeon. So um, maybe you can find a certain dungeon that has a massive boss. I don't know. Maybe some sort of giant skeleton warrior thing. I'm not really sure. But um, that's again, it's going to be really exciting to see what's that's going to be like. So um, yeah, that's the first one. These links will all be down in the description as well. You can check these out for yourself. So um, next one's bow mechanics. Now this is a, quite a small thing. Uh, Notch mentioned in addition to the 1.8 up adventure update, hold to charge bow mechanics. Um, so um, what this basically means is, um, currently with the bow you click and you fire an arrow. Now um, what it's saying is here is if you hold down your mouse or something like that, maybe um, it charges up your bow and maybe fires an arrow that hits like three times harder, something like that. And um, what else it says on here? It talks about um, Will this just be for the bow? Will this just be for like the bows and bow and arrow? Now I don't really want it to be just for the bow. I really want it to be for like swords and um, swords. Yeah, just swords really, because they're the two main weapons: swords and arrows, things like that. I think that'd be really cool to um, to have that. But I think maybe you have to find some sort of certain item to be able to charge it up. Not sure about that, but once again, that's gonna be very exciting to see. Now the third thing we have here is a screenshot. Now um. This is a screenshot of the Minecraft ravines they're adding in the adventure update. So you can see it's come some sort of ruin underground. Now, there's certain things in this picture that I kind of looked at and I thought, well, so there's a dead skeleton down there and there's a zombie. Um, I'm just wondering why the skeleton's dead. Maybe it fell off the top here. But um, apart from that, there's actually no reason, other reason why it may have died. It may have drowned, but um, if it drowned, it wouldn't be there. So maybe it sprung sort of, sort of trap. Maybe something killed it, but there's actually nothing here that could have killed it. But um, uh, that's really cool to find out and see what it's like. So um, we actually have, um, if you go here, we have um, we have some sort of new kind of vine. It looks like some sort of I don't know, like rusted old vine. Yeah, we have um, cracks here and um, kind of mossy stone here, and uh, you can see the lighting here is very grey, very grey lighting. It's very dark there. Um, there's actually quite a lot of light coming from something over here. Now I'm wondering if there's a new light source there. Probably not, but uh, there's actually quite a bit of light there and you can only see like a couple of torches. But yeah, so um, down here. Now this is something that 
I saw you can actually see through the water a lot better than you can before. So if you look at this water and you go into Minecraft and you just look at that water, you can see the difference. You can't see through water this good. You can see you can see right through into the the, the bricks um, in front of it. You can't always see that with normal water. So I don't know if that's an update to all water or just certain what you find underground. So yeah, this is my um, third video installment for the Minecraft 1.8 update. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed making them and finding out this information. If you did, please remember to leave a rating because it always helps me out a bunch. And uh, if you haven't watched the other two, links are in the description. Bye bye. Have fun.